Hi, this is Ed from the Drum Exchange. I wanted to give you a little tour of our uh, wall these days. These walls change. My wife Candace is constantly redoing these things and I'm constantly getting lost trying to find things. But there's a lot of stuff on this wall I want to make you aware of. First of all, you got to see all the cowbells and we are into cowbells around here. So, uh, you know, when you're looking for a cowbell, there's a couple things you can look at. Of course, you want to hear it. Another reason you want to shop local and go into a real store, you cannot tell what any instrument sounds like online. I'm sorry, it just can't be done. So you got to sit there with a stick and hit it. Now this is your basic cheap import cowbell, export cowbell, depending on where you live. Anyway, uh, these are, you know, under $15 typically. And then they can be small, medium, large. Classically, you know, Cuban style, you hold it and you have the edge and then the, the center. And I can play around with my finger. That idea too. One thing I always recommend is when you're shopping for a bell, you might want to consider getting more than one. Um, for instance, if you get a low and a high bell, then you can put them together. And I'll spend a few minutes trying to find two that I really like together. Typically, if you know about like the piano, fourths and fifths are great. Because when you put two together, you're creating uh, like a Brazilian, a go-go bell sound. So, pretty easy to do. As far as uh, quality of bells, this type of amount is okay, it works. It's not the longest uh, surviving type of, of thing to do it. I, I, I prefer these more involved mounts, things like this, where they have a, kind of a a whole assembly in here. Anyway, they last a lot longer. So uh, there's a reason to spend a, a few more dollars on a bell when you can. But there's nothing wrong with these guys. Uh, they're pretty good. There are true, true Agogo bells here too that have are already set up. And they can be expensive or actually pretty cheap too. Uh, so lots of bells, the really big ones, rock bells like this. This is a really cool one, the LP Rock Classic. It has a piece of plastic. And your basic low rider bell. Anyway, and then we also have things that are similar to bells. We have jam blocks, and uh, these are like wood blocks, but they're really uh, sturdy. That idea. And they're mountable as well. Mounting a, uh, a regular wood block can be difficult on a, drums, on a drum set, although, and there's a lot of stuff here, I'm telling you. This, uh, this bell here, or this woodblock here, is a tip, classic typical woodblock. This is by Tycoon. But it's also mountable. That's pretty amazing as well. Um, oh, one more thing about cowbells while we're thinking about it. These are JCR bells. They're from the Bronx in New York. A little more expensive. These are the best cowbells in the world from, from a lot of uh, opinions of great players. This is a handheld bongo style bell as opposed to mountable. But they do make mountable bells as well. So again, many bells to choose from. And then the jam blocks, these, as I was saying, they also uh, come into different size, like in a go-go bell style as well. Uh, we can also mount tambourines these days. Uh, this is a token one. This is a, a newer style. This is amazing. I can't take it apart. It's kind of tied together with ties. But uh, this actually pulls out as well, so you can handheld it. And, and shake it as well and not have the mount on it. And there's other types. Uh, Rhythm Tech makes a great mountable tambourine as well, and you can play those with a stick as well. Um, the uh, kind of a whole different level here, the classic Vibra Slap. And you really got to shop for these because they can vary quite a bit. This is a, a less expensive one. Still works. But, uh, I, I, you know, in my now, I think I like it a little better in this particular case. So we have a number of those in here, too. Um, man, shakers. Jeez, there's a lot of shakers here. There's, you know, as far as shakers are concerned, this is one of my favorites. This is an LP twist shaker. It works as a double, but it also comes apart soft or loud. We put them together, actually. They usually come in two of one color or two of the other, but I like putting them together, and then you have a two for one. Uh, this is a, what I call a talking shaker. It works, works as a regular shaker, but I can also hold the head and push on them and get a different sound too. 
there's your classic uh, Gonza style Brazilian shaker like this. Wooden, there's different sizes. The classic metal, that idea. Plastic, all sorts of materials to make these things. This is a really neat one. This is a tubular shaker with a jingle. I can turn it on and off. And uh, boy, what else? We got the, you remember these are called the Brazilian instrument, Rocar, that's right. Um, and then the Gonza style, these uh, are Chocolo. You get really big for street uh, performance, that sort of thing. We have a lot of Wiro's over here as well. Um, you know, these plastic ones are really probably the way to go these days. Gourds are great, but they break down. These are really sturdy. They have different, different playing surfaces, lightweight, under 40 bucks. So, um, pretty good for that. Again, the shakers, lots of little talking style. That sort of thing, little guys like this. These are pretty neat. These are uh, Tycoon. They look like little drums, but you can play them by pushing on the heads as well. Squeeze shaker. Uh, of course, the really quiet microphone shaker like that. Uh, oh, and uh, these little uh, kind of UFO style shakers here. Um, what else here? A lot of, lot of stuff like this. This is my now very impressive. Uh, we have a, a number of uh, swan shakers as well. Those are very nice. And uh, some wild stuff from Africa. These are made of tin. Really loud as well. And uh, the kibasa. This is a mountable one, which is kind of different. So you can put it on and, and play it with your hand as well. Uh, and then one of the more bizarre instruments in the room, this is the uh, liquid triangle from Meinel. Even more interesting, you hold it like this. Pretty interesting stuff. And then we have, uh, oh man, it keeps going. Uh, a lot of shakers over here, a lot of maracas from round types, uh, more traditional. This is an interesting shaker. This is a maraca, but also clave at the same time. Of course, we have a zillion of these little LP guys. These are great, very easy to hold. We really like these guys as well. Um, the yellow ball shakers, a lot of people love these. Bring a light. And then we have a, a bunch of these African maracas that just came in too. Under five bucks. These are a great buy. Um, and there's hand drums on the floor. I'm not going to get to those right now. And then we have ponderos. I'm not a great pondero player. We have a number of really cool players in town. I really like this one, this Remo. Really lightweight. It's not really a tambourine, it's a hand drum. There's a nice video here uh, by Brad Dutz uh, on it, uh, on playing that. So anyway, come on in, lots of shakers, bells, uh, some claves here, wood blocks, hand drums, oh man, it goes on. Anyway, we'll continue our, our tour here with further videos, so go to drumexchange.com for more information and uh, let us know what you're looking for. Thanks a lot.